Welcome top news today. At a potential reckoning point, Trump fumbles for success. You know a president is in trouble when he has to insist he's up to the job. But stung by a worsening post-hurricane crisis in Puerto Rico, an escalating North Korea nuclear showdown, the humiliating failure to repeal Obamacare and the stunning defeat of his favored candidate in Alabama's Republican primary, that moment has arrived for Donald Trump. The president is being forced to deny that his Twitter blasts and culture war shots at NFL players protesting racial grievances show that he's too distracted to lead amid creating political storms. I've heard that before, about was I preoccupied. Not at all, not at all. I have plenty of time on my hands. All I do is work, said Trump, when asked at a Rose Garden news conference whether his feud with NFL players had caused him to take his eye off the ball over the fast-worsening hurricane crisis in Puerto Rico. Given the magnitude of issues he's facing, it was not surprising that Trump sometimes seemed to be flailing Tuesday, a day of upheaval that served as a microcosm of his turbulent eight months in power that has delighted his fans but rocked much of the rest of the nation and the world. This White House, for all the loyalty of Trump's fervent political base, could soon find itself facing up to any of these realities if it allows the myriad crisis facing the president to spin any further out of control. At the same time, he's taking the world closer to the brink with North Korea, exacerbating a nuclear crisis with no clear face-saving exit for himself or dictator Kim Jong-un. And he took another blow on the chin on Tuesday night, when his favored candidate lost Alabama's Republican Senate primary to Roy Moore, an iconoclast who showed up to vote on horseback and who makes his own theatrics seem tame. Trump's administration and fellow Republicans meanwhile are staggering from yet another failure to use their monopoly on power to repeal Obamacare. And quietly, the Russia investigation, which has haunted the Trump presidency, marched on Tuesday, when it emerged that top White House officials face questioning from special counsel Robert Mueller's probe in the coming days. As far as Puerto Rico is concerned, we have had tremendous reviews from government officials, as we have in Texas and Louisiana, Trump told reporters. Trump did make the valid point that rushing hurricane relief to an island was a tougher proposition than relieving Texas and Florida after their recent monster storms. This is, you know, a thing called the Atlantic Ocean. This is tough stuff, he said. But the administration's frenetic activity Tuesday showed that it understands that if it does not get a handle on the situation quickly, Trump's response risks looking too small for the crisis. The president doesn't grasp the severity of the situation this is going to be his legacy, Democratic Representative Nydia Velasquez of New York warned. This is the most powerful country in the world, and this is how we treat our citizens. Shame on us. As pressure mounted, the White House released pictures of Trump in a Situation Room meeting on the crisis. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Elaine Duke and FEMA Administrator William Brock appeared outside the West Wing to hurriedly brief reporters on the progress of the relief effort. Trump meanwhile announced he would go to Puerto Rico next Tuesday. 